a fireball, aliens, or an airplane. Those were some of the dozens of comments on our Facebook page this morning after an explosion of light in the sky. The American Meteor Society website has been bombarded with reports from across the Midwest and even some sightings in the South. WZZM 13's Alex Shabbat joins us now with more on that, Alex. Juliet, more reports are coming in every minute to the American Meteor Society. At last check, there were more than 400 postings on their website. In this area, there was also a lot of excitement, but it had some emergency crews on edge. From this NASA video, watch the left side of your screen carefully and you'll see the quick blip of light that had people talking for hours. Hundreds of reports on the American Meteor Society website from Indiana to Michigan and even Tennessee. 20 or 30 miles high, uh, they can be seen from a long way away, several states. I had physics professor Doug Furton answer some of the dozens of comments and questions on our WZZM 13 Facebook page, like this person who asked why there were so many different colors. If it has different minerals in it, when it's all incinerated in Earth's atmosphere, they light up in different colors. Others on the page made references to an alien invasion. There were even some reports of a possible plane on fire in Nuego County, and firefighters were sent to make sure everything was okay. Despite the spectacle it caused, Furton says meteors are actually quite common. A thousand or two thousand meteorites fall to Earth every day. Most of Earth's surface is covered by water, and that which isn't is often uh, uninhabited. By the time they hit the Earth, Furton says they're usually smaller than this little piece. This is a rather large surviving meteorite. They range in sizes from tiny little pebbles, sand grain size, to car or even house sized chunks of rocks. But Furton says there's no cause for alarm. I guess if you were having an incredibly bad day, it's possible that you could be hit by a meteorite that made it to Earth. He says the dangers we face on the ground every day are far greater. And Ferdinand says he wouldn't be surprised if so-called meteorite hunters start to show up in Indiana to collect pieces of this thing. But of course, that depends if there's anything left.